Welcome to another episode of LEGO Worlds. In today's episode, we are going to be building Sc Scrooge McDuck's Money Bank. So, what I'm go going to do is find a spot to build it in. I've been building a lot lately. <laughs> I think I am overbuilding, but that's fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down a base to work with. So I chose a grass base. And I chose a 16 by 16 plate. And all I'm going to do is just make it right next door to one of my creations then we're going to work on the wall we're just going to be light stone gray and I'm going to be using a 1 by 3 brick And I'm going to corner these bricks to make a corner angle. And then I'm going to start building it upwards. Until I reach the height I think I want the bank th to be. I mean, if you guys want to make it bigger than mine, be my guess. I'm just doing some sm small scale replicas. I ain't gonna go enormous. So, yeah, I'm building the first corner of my wall. Once you have th that done. You want to build the other corner of the wall. I'm just checking to see if it's the height. Or you can build the wall itself first. Doesn't matter which way you do this in. I'm just trying to figure out how big I want the wall. So now I'm going to start building the inner layer of the wall. And I'm going to add the corner to wh where I want it to be. I'm just getting my measurements. And of course, I'm going to build up on this one. And 
That way we have our second corner of the wall. And then I'm just going to start building my wall. To fill in the gap in between. Which this is very t time consuming to build. And it was a f fun build to do. It was cha challenging. I think get picture accurate the way I wanted it but I did get it as accurate as possible I mean later on I'll probably redesign this build See if I can get it a little bit better, but for now I like the way it is. So what I did was I went all the way up to the tippy top of the cor corner there. And now uh, we decided to go at least one more up. And then f for the last row I went with a 2x2 two two brick and just built upwards that way the wall is complete and then I use the uh, one by three um, flat as a building it up upwards I as I build upwards I put the corners on and then I, I put it on the uh, one by three flats tile so it doesn't look like the um, pins are sticking out that way it gives a smoother build and then I did a 1 by f 4 tile flat for the t top squares I mean the two two by two flat. I don't like hold it one by four. I'm not thinking straight right now. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, two by four, four, four flat. Yeah. And then you do all four walls and put in a ce ceiling. And then once you got the roof on, you want to do like a circular pattern, but the thing is, you ain't going to get the f 
full circle on top. I tried to think how to do this, so I th thought about it. Like instead of doing a full circle, why don't I do a brickish-like circle? Then I realized when I placed it down, I had the wrong color. <laughs> So I had to fix my errors. And put the white co color down. I chose bright red for completing the roof because the top of it's supposed to be like a reddish color. And what you want to do is line the circle pieces up f first in the cor corners you want them in. And then f fill it in with uh, some normal bricks. So I was trying to figure out how far I wanted the corners apart. But then I wanted to make the roof like a smooth, smooth area. And when I went to put some of this stuff down, I thought maybe I could f fit it there. It wouldn't let me. Because apparently it thinks that the circle is a square. <laughs> Don't know why it did that, but yeah. So I had to remove the square and the circle pieces and put down all my f flat surfaces first and build on top of that. Which was interesting trying to build the top of this thing because It's very ch um, challenging to try and get it close to a circle shape. I could have probably made the r roof a little bit bigger, but like I said, this is just a s small scale model. I'm not going to go huge with some of these models. And the reason I chose to do Scrooge McDuck's piggy bank is because DuckTales is going to be coming back to TV soon. Which I'm really excited to see the new one. See if it lives up to the old one. But we'll have to just wait and see how that turns out. So, I decided to make the roof completely flat, as you can see here. I mean, no, normally you'd be able to put the, the red 
cir circles and stuff up there and co cover it neatly. But because the program thinks it's a square, I had to cover the surface first, so it's like I took the stuff and just put it on top of the uh, flat surface. Which normally you can't, uh, well I guess you can do that with Legos, but normally you wouldn't do that with Legos because they wouldn't connect together. It would be two separate uh, builds. And it would be just sitting one on top of the other. Which i never seen any build like that, but yeah, that's an interesting thought. So now I'm just going to try my best to f fill it in and connect it. Basically, what you want to do is you want to build the circle um, somewhat upward, so it's like a it's supposed to be like a dome shape, which I didn't realize I could somewhat make a dome sh shape till towards the end, but it's fine. Like I said, I can always go back and ch change my ideas later. So, right now I'm just filling in my roof area. I mean, when it's done, it doesn't look that bad. It's actually a pretty good build. It's just very t time consuming to build it. Especially if you want to add on every single detail. Which I was going to attempt to try and do, but that didn't pan out. But it was pretty good for what it was. So now I'm putting a another layer on top, top because it's supposed to be layered upwards. I mean, from the look, looks of it, it doesn't look like Scrooge McDuck's bank yet. But as I progressed with it, it'll slowly transform into Scrooge McDuck's piggy bank. I think the hardest part of this build is making the money symbol <laughs> out of Legos. That was challenging. And it made me think how do I want to make the money sign out of Legos? So 
so I p played around with that and finally got something that looks like a money sign. Which you'll see the end product towards the end of the video. So if you like this vi video, hit those like buttons. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And leave any qu questions or comments you ha have in the comment section d down below. And I will see you on another episode of LEGO Worlds. And I hope you guys enjoyed this build of Scrooge McDuck's um, money bank. I had fun building it. And hopefully I can build other things similar to this or better eventually. Welcome to another episode of LEGO Worlds. In today's episode, we are going to be building Sc Scrooge McDuck's Money Bank. So, what I'm g going to do is find a spot to build it in. I've been building a lot lately. <laughs> I think I am overbuilding, but that's fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down a base to work with. So I chose a grass base. And I chose a 16 by 16 plate. And all I'm going to do is just make it right next door to one of my creations then we're going to work on the wall where I want it to be I'm just getting my measurements And of course, I'm going to build up on this one. That way, we have our second corner of the wall. And then I'm just going to start building my wall. We're just going to be light stone gray. And I'm going to be using a 1x3 brick. I 
and I'm going to corner these bricks to make a corner angle and then I'm going to start building upwards until I reach the height I think I want the bank to, to be I mean if you guys want to make it bigger than mine be my guess I'm just doing some sm small scale replicas I ain't gonna go enormous so yeah I'm building the first corner of my wall once you have th that done You want to build the other corner of the wall. I'm just checking to see if it's the height. Or you can build the wall itself first. Doesn't matter which order you do this in. I'm just trying to figure out how big I want the wall. So now I'm going to start building the inner layer of the wall. And I'm going to add the corner to fill in the gap in between which this is very t time consuming to build and it was a fun build to do. It was cha challenging. I didn't get picture accurate the way I wanted it, but I did get it as accurate as possible. I mean, later on, I'll probably redesign this build to see if I can get it a little bit better, but for now, I like the way it is. <laughs> 